Installing Docker on Mac. Well, the process of installing Docker on Mac is a bit different from installing the Docker on Linux operating system or Win Windows operating system. You cannot install Docker on Mac as you could do on Linux just by installing packages. For example, if I go ahead and try to install Docker on Mac, but just the executable or Docker packages, I'll get. So first I'm checking if Docker is installed. No, Docker executable is not present. Then I try to install it, which starts the process of Docker package installation on my Mac. As you may see, Docker executable and Docker packages are currently installed on my Mac. And realistically, I may think that I can't start using Docker right away. For example, if I run docker ps command to list the Docker containers, I suddenly get is the Docker daemon running. And that's where we realize that Docker needs a runtime environment or Docker server in order to be able to run on Mac. With Linux, installing the Docker repositories and packages is enough, so you don't need to install Docker desktop in addition. But in order to start Docker daemon ru running on Mac, you need to provide the runtime environment for the Docker. There are many ways to do that. For example, you can do that using VirtualBox, so you can deploy the lightweight virtual machine and provide the runtime environment for the Docker. There are even some specifically allocated virtual machines, like one of them is Camilla, that are designed to act as a Docker runtime environment. But the easiest way to provide a runtime environment for Docker is to download Docker desktop application for Mac. My Mac has Intel chip, so I'm gonna go ahead and download DMG file. Docker DMG file is downloaded, so I'm now installing it on my Mac and moving it to the list of my applications. While it's being downloading, I just want to mention something about Docker GUI, the Docker desktop that we're currently downloading. The Docker desktop allows you to review running containers, review or search for images in Docker global repositories way easier than it is in the terminal. Well, depending on the type of person you are, of course, if you're more comfortable with using terminals and of course, the terminal version of doing that and, and using commands is your way to go. But Docker GUI is quite nice as well. They managed to develop a go good desktop application. So I'm starting the Docker application at the moment. And realistically, I'm not even interested in seeing what is in the application as such. Even without actually waiting for what's going to load, I can go ahead, rerun the command to list containers. And you may see that the command gets through, meaning that the Docker daemon starting, started running as soon as I installed the Docker desktop application. Now I can see running containers. There are no running containers at the moment. And I also can see all the containers that exist on my, on my laptop, on my machine. I'm making it smaller so that you can see. So this uh, is the list of containers that are on my machine currently. And from the Docker GUI, just a very short walkthrough, you may see that there is a list of containers there is list of images. Realistically, you can look for any image and list list of volumes. These are the volumes that exist on my machine at the moment. And this is the volume that is currently being in use. In order to access official Docker images, you should go to global Docker registry, which is called the Docker hub. Docker hub contains the official images of the Docker, as you may see. So depending on what application you want to deploy, you can actually pull the containers or images, mostly images, of course, from the official Docker hub, which is the official Docker registry. If you're interested about five key facts about Docker, the link to my video about that should appear in the top left side of the screen. So in order to install the Docker on Mac, we tried to install it using the brew, the repository management on Mac that I currently have, but only installing the Docker executable is not enough. We can look up the Docker executable by to check if I have it by running which Docker. And we can check the Docker 
versions that we currently have by running docker info and the versions that we currently have is 24.0.2 then we downloaded the docker desktop application in order to provide docker daemon and start actually deploying and working with containers we cannot do that without installing the docker desktop or providing the runtime environment for the docker on mac that's why we went with the easiest solution, which is Docker Desktop. But there are many other solutions that you can solutions that you can can come up with, such as running the lightweight virtual machine for Docker, or running the specialized virtualization software for Docker runtime environment. Thank you for being with me today, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.